let's give the Lord a clap of praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen, amen. Glory be to God. Now, when Jacob ran away to his uncle Laban, you know the story. The uncle was crooked. Crooked Laban. As crooked as they come. He changed Jacob's salary ten times. Promised him one thing. When it was time to pay, he changed it. He made this boy serve for 14 years for one woman and gave him somebody else. So the man was a crooked, well, his name is Crooked Laban. But God is very faithful. As the people of Southeast Nigeria will say, one day Jacob used his tongue to count his teeth and asked himself, and told himself, if I don't know what I'm doing, this man will ruin my life. If I don't do something about it, I will be pauperized. This man will enslave me. I will have nothing to show for it for years. So what did he do? He used his faith. He made a contraption and made it in such a way that those contraptions, they had stripes and spots. And then he told Laban, he said, from today, any of the cattle that is playing, let them be yours. Don't pay me any money again. But any cattle born that is plained, it is yours. But the one that is spotted and, and speckled, they will be mine. Now, he now made that contraption so that during the mating season, the cattle will be mating and be looking at the contraption. Faith. There is no connection between the contraption and the mating. But God went inside and changed the DNA. He changed the DNA. So that all the babies that were being born by the cattle, they were all spotted. So at the end of the day, he became richer than Levi. God honors faith when faith honors God. Help me tell your neighbor, honor God with your faith. He will honor you by your faith. Honor God with your faith. He will honor you by your faith. Amen. That's all we need. Let's trust God. Let's honor God with our faith. Amen. We welcome everyone to International Christian Center where we make disciples of all nations. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Is there anyone worshiping with us for the first time? If you're visiting the ICC family for the first time, please could you raise your hands? We'd love to recognize you. We'd love to welcome you. <laughs> Hallelujah. God bless you, my sister. God bless you, my brother there. God bless you. We welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank you for choosing to worship with us today. We don't take it for granted at all. Because we know the Lord ordered your steps into this house. Where the presence of the Lord is, there is fullness of joy. And our prayer is that as you continue to bask in his presence... His joy will flood your being Amen. Amen. with the knowledge that he has your Amen. back. Amen. Know this, as the word of God says, he has inscribed you upon the palm of his hands. And what that means is that you and every affair concerning you is ever before his face. Amen. He has your back. Amen. 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 Thank you again for choosing to worship with us.